<laughs> so every three to five years, we burn our short grass prairies um, to reduce the thatch layer, and it adds an element of carbon. It brings all of that um, plant material back into the soil. And it also allows wildflower seeds to germinate. Many of the wildflower seeds that are native to shortgrass prairies need a fire cycle before they'll germinate. So what happens in that natural cycle is the grasses start to dominate these regions. And the fire comes through, thins out the grasses, cleans up all that carbon buildup, and allows the wildflowers to then have a chance to take over. It also basically eliminates or discourages trees and shrubs from taking it over, which helps maintain it as a grassland instead of a woodland, which it might become over time. So. We have to get permits from the fire department every time we do this, uh, and we have to wait for clean air quality days. Uh, so there's a lot to it, and we're given a window of time when we can do it. The weather, the timing uh, doesn't always work. Like this year, there's still a lot of snowpack and there's still a lot of wet areas. So we're not getting quite the burn that we would hope to, uh, but it's still gonna be effective. It's fun, but um, you are dealing with fire. Wet down the plastic irrigation box covers and around the outlet. And it moves quickly and fire's unpredictable. So you still, there's an element of danger and we do everything we can to keep safe. We have hoses and buckets of water and people watching uh, where the fire's going and where we're doing it.